responsibility. And I had to I had to really you didn't think fly to the North Pole. I had to think quick on my feet. <laughs> hey, does your Santa wear board shorts? <laughs> he, our Santa does not wear board shorts. That's right. Yeah, you get to see Santa yeah. twice. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Right. jump on his sleigh. Every night, right? Yep. Let me start off and ask you, uh, Eric. Your deal came together really quick, but how exciting is it for you to come down here to be in that situation? You know, to be in that race car coming to Daytona. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, man, just to get to drive the 43 car with all that history behind it. Um, and uh, just the other day, I got to see one of the uh, paint schemes we're going to run uh, in a couple weeks, uh, beginning of the year, the SDP car. It's just cool. I mean, that's really cool to be able to drive that 43 car and see my name above the door. Um, yeah, I, I watched when I was a kid. You know, I watched growing up. And um, I've never told Richard this, but I was a huge Dale Earnhardt fan. Um, so I used to always watch, and I, and I remember Dale and, and Richard racing against each other. And I remember, actually, I vividly remember, um, I was still very young, but I remember watching the race uh, when Richard's last race was at Atlanta, and um, seeing all the, the people stand up and cheer for him um, after the race was over was pretty cool. So to have that much respect in our sport um, and then to have the opportunity to drive for him is uh, pretty special. And not to mention, Trevor Bain was here a little while ago. Of course, Glenn Woods going into the Hall of Fame. But I talked to Dale Inman. Uh, he's going to the Hall of Fame as well in this class. 75 years old, and he looks like he can still kick everybody's butt. Yeah, and if, <laughs> and if you're not careful when, he, when you shake his hand, he will, uh, he'll let you know how strong he still is. Um, every single time you shake his hand, he just tries to break, break all the bones in your hand. So he makes you say uncle, um, but I won't say it. So he squeezes harder and harder and harder. Well, Jimmy, what was the off season like for you? I'm curious, but you actually mentioned this at the banquet. You didn't really know what to do because for five years in a row, you were the champion. Yeah, I mean, it. Uh, the workload is much less, and, and that was, uh, you know, enjoyable. I had a, a lot of great time with my family. Uh, my daughter is at 18 months now and growing at such a fun age. And uh, I got organized at home. 